Hey guys, it's Kathy. Doing a little experiment today, something a little different. Um, I went and bought myself some Penetrol, uh, which is supposed to work very well to make cells. Um, and supposedly will look just as good as Australian Floetrol when you've mixed it with US Floetrol instead. So it's just a little mini experiment. Over here I've got, first I'm just going to start with Floetrol and uh, Amsterdam Titanium White. So this is four parts Floetrol to one part paint. This is nine parts Floetrol to one part paint. Uh, once I do those, I'm going to add a certain amount of drops of Penetrol to these two and see the difference. And then someone else said just to mix the, uh, the Penetrol by itself with the paint, which I did. I, I don't know what to expect with that, but we'll give that a try too. So actually, I think I'm just going to put a flow extender around it. I'm going to start again with the Mystic. And the turquoise. And the 24K. And then the four to one US Floetrol with Amsterdam white. Flow extender. Tied my hair back and it's getting in my way anyway. Just gonna let this sit. Okay, and then we'll try another one. This one will be the nine to one Floetrol with the Amsterdam. Uh, white. Almost out of this beautiful mystic color. Extender.
I'm liking the cells already with the nine parts flow trial more than the four parts. And see a difference. wonky cell there. Okay. That's that one. That's the nine parts flow trial to one part paint. Uh, this one's going to be really interesting. This is just uh, it's just a penetral. It's with a small amount of um, the paint, the white paint, and maybe just two or three drops of the penetral and some water. I don't know what to expect with that. Got the flow extender. Those cells are coming up right away without any problem. Penetral alone, just with the paint. Okay. So now, well, if you can see it, I don't want to dump it over. There is the penetral. And I'm going to mix maybe just. Uh, it's almost two parts paint to one part penetral as far as uh, one, one drop, sorry, two parts paint to one drop of penetral. Uh, that might even be a little too much. So since this is only an ounce or small, about an ounce of paint, the water, I'm only going to do with the flow trawl one, okay, two drops. That is all I'm doing to start with. The one that's nine to one, of course, I'll add four drops. 
because there's more uh, Floetrol in it. Okay. All right, so here we go again. Cells are coming up right away. That looks good. And I haven't yet yet torched these. Let me give this a few minutes to Get the cells to come up. So far, the Pinatrol seems to bring up the darker base color I used, whereas the others seem to blend more with the white. This is bringing up more of the color from underneath, the darker color, which is interesting. Okay, so that goes here. And I think one more. Okay, this will be with the nine parts Floetrol to one part Amsterdam titanium white. And I will put in four drops of the Penetrol with it. two, three, four, oops, I put in five. Okay. Let's do the full extender first. portion here.
cells are coming up very nicely and see the, the dark uh, mystic coming up. It didn't do that with the other ones that were just mixed with Floetrol. Only the Penetrol, it's a good name for it, penetrates farther down, it looks like. We've got gold cells coming up, gold around the turquoise. So it's making some very pretty cells there, as well as just the white around here. Very cool. Okay. I am going to tidy this up a bit and place them all out together so you can, can see all of them together and what the results are. Be right back. Okay, so here are the results of my little experiment with the Pinatrol. Uh, on this side is the 4 to 1 U.S. Floetrol, just to one part paint, no Penetrol, just the Floetrol. Okay, that here is the same combination with adding a couple of drops of the Penetrol. A lot more cell action with the Penetrol. Over here, we have the U.S. Floetrol nine to one, nine parts Floetrol to one part paint. That is just with the Floetrol, nine parts to one part paint. I like the way that looks. And here's the same with added about four drops of Penetrol. And again, you can see there's more cell action with the Penetrol. And I think the lacing on the outside is prettier as well. And then my little other practice piece, this is simply the paint with a little bit of Penetrol in it mixed with water for consistency. Now, I don't think I like it as, as much as say that one with the nine parts Floetrol and Penetrol. It seems a little softer and smoother. This one with just the Penetrol and the paint really brought up the dark colors from underneath, which I kind of like, um, but not so much cell action in the center here. Of course, that could be my blowing out powers that aren't that great. Um, I don't know, but it's definitely very well defined, bringing up that uh, darker shade. So I don't mind that one either. So there you have it, um, all U.S. Floetrol mixed with Amsterdam titanium paint. These two again, just with the Floetrol, four to one, nine to one. Four to one with Penetrol, nine to one with Penetrol. Penetrol alone, just with the paint. So which do you prefer? I think I do like the Penetrol. Uh, it is oil-based, so I am guessing uh, if you use this in any canvases, you would need to uh, clean it off the same way you would a, a canvas that you had silicone in. So 
that's the big experiment for today. Thanks for joining me with this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we all learned something. I needed to figure this out myself. Thanks for joining me. Stay well, be happy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.